In this video, we're going to talk about the sub dialog element of Call Studio. Call Studio supports both creation of voice XML, which will be invoked as a sub dialog at a runtime. So when a call start, for example, this particular script that we are working on can be a sub dialog from somewhere else. For example, ICM script calling that VXML script. There are several elements that can be used to support this functionality. Voice application uh, may be invoked via sub dialog call from another voice application, as I talked about, the ICM script calling the uh, CVP script. Now, application that will be invoked as a sub dialog must start with sub dialog start or CVP sub dialog start. If your environment is, for example, um, a CVP environment where you have both CVP and ICM, then you may you want to start with CVP sub dialog start. Whereas any other third party application calling the CVP call studio may start with the sub dialog uh, sub dialog start. CVP sub dialog start is the one that we're going to focus on a lot in our uh, in this particular self study kit. So just make just want to give you an idea about what the sub dialog start basically does. Now the sub dialog invoke is an element that initiates a sub dialog invocation to another voice XML script, and it handles the passing data to and from it. While sub dialog uh, application is handling a call, the voice application that invokes it wait for uh, a door. Well, when the, the calling party, uh, calling uh, application server like ICM, for example, will wait in a dormant state for it to return the signal back. So, for example, you have a script right here that is calling this script and while it is going to go through step by step, this particular script will go into dormant mode. And at some point, the call will be returned back to that script. When invoking a voice application that resides in the same inter instance of the call service, no additional license sessions are required. So, if both the application uh, X and application Y happens to be in the same uh, call server, no additional license is imp uh, needed. However, if you are calling a sub dialog in a different IP address, uh, uh, for example, another call server, then you do need an uh, additional license for that. Now, use of this element, uh, sorry, sub dialog invoke uh, is very similar to nature of calling, let's say, subflow. Any number of input values can be specified, or any number of return values can be specified. So, for example, if you have a script somewhere here, let's say the ICM.